Welcome to GIS and RS Made Easy channel. In this video, we will see how to install and use Miniconda. So let's get into it. First, we need to download Miniconda. For that, in your browser, search for Miniconda. In the search result, you will find Miniconda Anaconda that is under anaconda.com. Click on this link. Now we are in anaconda.com website. You can read the getting started uh, manual installation guides. But we will go to the download link directly. Let's click on the download button. Now we are in the download. Here you can write your email and submit to start download. But we can also skip this registration part. Let's click on the skip registration. Now here you will find the download button for Anaconda installers. And if you go down, you will find the Miniconda installers. Since uh, now I am in a Windows PC, so I will download the Python 3.12 that is the latest version for Windows. Let's click on the 64-bit graphical installer. You can see that our download has been started. It will take some time depending on your internet speed. The download has been finished. If we click on this, we can see that. Let's go to the download folder. Here our Miniconda 3 latest version is downloaded. Since this is exe file, we can directly double click and run. Let's, let's do that. It will start the installer. Let's click on the next button. And then I agree. Here you can see just me or all users. The next. Now we need to defend the destination folder. We can change the folder, but usually it's better to keep in the default location. Let's click on the next. Now in this screen we have some options. This is for create shortcut. It is already uh, tick marked. Let's check this box. Uh, uh, for the second option, it is add Miniconda 3 to my path environment variable. This is not recommended. So let's keep it. And the third one is register Miniconda as my default Python 3.13. It is recommended because uh, if we check this, other programs such as VS Code, Python can easily detect Miniconda 3 as primary Python. And uh, last option is clear the package case upon completion. It is also recommended. So let's check this and click on install. The setup process was completed successfully. Let's click on the next button. and finish now to start using miniconda let's go to the start menu and search for anaconda prompt and click on the anaconda prompt here our anaconda prompt is open and you can see that it is in the base location that is under c users and users if we want to start writing Python code, we can write Python here and enter. It will take us to the Python writing environment. Here we can write our Python code line by line and ex execute. Let's write some simple code. First, we want to add 5, class, 6, and enter. You can see that it shows 11. That means 
the Python code is working. Let's write a print command. And enter it prints our message to get out of this Python code writing environment just write exit and bracket enter now we are in our base location now we can install any package or library in the base location but usually we do not do that for any project we create a new environment conda has a very powerful environment creation options you can make different environment with different python versions this is a very powerful and useful operation of conda let's see how to create a new environment to create new environment in conda we can use several codes for creation of uh, environment we need to write conda create then dash dash name my env this is our environment name you can change this name to your project and we can also use this code with Py python version if you need different python version you can mention it here so if you want to make one environment in 3.10 python version you can do that and another environment you can make with 3.12 version and the next code we can create a conda environment with the installation of some packages at the same time numpy pandas matplotlib so if we create uh, the mind env environment with this code then numpy pandas and matplotlib will also be installed in this environment and uh, instead of using the full name we can use single dash and n it is the short flag of the full uh, dash dash name part and we can also use an equal sign this is also the same as this now let's create an environment conda create dash n rs rs and press enter since we didn't mention any python version it will install the latest version and it will ask you to proceed if you want to proceed you can press y and enter our environment gis rs is made now let's activate with this code it shows conda activate gis rs conda activate gis rs and enter when your environment is activated you will see in the bracket you can see that from base it has converted to JSRS. That means our environment is now activated. Now, if we uh, install any package or other things, it will be installed under JSRS environment. Now, let's install Jupyter Notebook. For that, we need to write conda install. In Jupiter and enter let's proceed with Y now it is installing Jupiter notebook
the installation of package is done now to start using jupyter notebook we need to write jupyter notebook and enter it will start a server and run the jupyter notebook in our browser now let's go to the download folder and create a new notebook there the new notebook is opened now let's rename this file as notebook1 now we can write our code here let's do some simple code a equals 5 b equals 7 c equals a plus b print now we can run the code with this play button or entering shift plus enter you can see that our code has run and gave us the output this way you can install uh, any library using miniconda and do a lot of stuff Thanks for watching.